right, it's a real honor to have Jeff Patton here. Uh, just to give a little bit of introduction about Jeff Patton, I'm sure most of you have heard about Jeff Patton, saw him last night on stage. Uh, Jeff has been one of my gurus. He's been uh, a very big influencer for me. Uh, in fact, the most embarrassing moment for me was in 2007, sharing a stage with him while receiving the PASC Award. I keep haunting him for that. But uh, Jeff uh, is a wonderful guy, and I'm sure you'll enjoy his keynote. So over to you, Jeff. Thank you so much. If you ever hear me say this, uh, if you ever hear any consultant say this, uh, first off, you know not to believe them. Uh, and the, the older I get, the longer I do this, the more I realize, well, the more I realize the sheer volume of what I don't know. This is a talk about, gosh, it's not squarely about Agile. I'm not going to talk about Agile. I'm not going to talk about Scrum. I'm not going to talk about any of this stuff. I'm going to talk about software development and how, well, I'll start with how I've been fooling myself from the very beginning, from the very outset of my career in software development. I, uh, I, I fool myself as a profession. And I want to talk about how I broke myself of the habit. And then over the past, especially over the past 10 years, how I'm seeing organizations start to break themselves of the habit. Uh, look, we spend a lot of time fooling ourselves. We spend a lot of time pretending like we were successful. And for as much as we use expressions like fail fast, and part of the reason we're iterating is to, is to learn, look, no one wants to fail, no one wants to be wrong. This is one of our biggest problems to fight, or one of the biggest cultural issues I've got to fight. There's a video over there that's worth looking up, especially if you've got kids. Make your kids watch it, uh, watch it as a parent. But this uh, Derek Sivers video, the why you need to fail. All right, let's tear in. I need to talk about me, and I want to rewind all the way back to, oh, would have been um, about uh, early 90s, and my first job in software development. And I remember how being given the job, I, I, I wrote a piece of software for online aircraft parts ordering. Uh, this is for uh, people who fix aircraft to be able to go online and place orders. And this is in the early 90s when uh, they would have done this normally through call centers, and doing this online would have been kind of a big deal. And I remember building a piece of software I was really proud of. And, well, I remember thinking the code was super good, and I wasn't going to have any trouble with that. And I remember telling this guy, this is my friend Bill, that, that, that now I've known for, God, how long have I known Bill? This is the early 90s, uh, 25 years, something like that. Bill was... In